Hey riders, good morning. Time for a little Team GRC Sunday short race. It is now August 18th, 8 11 in the morning, Mountain Standard Time, Alberta, Canada. Okay, folks, uh, I should have done this a long time ago. Check this out right here. Don't forget, we're in the 10 to buy 10 cube of quad destruction. That's where we're hanging out today. The new zone, the new studio, things are coming together. Uh, I got you. I'm watching you on like a 60 something inch TV right now. Double monitor set up. Anyways, folks, this is the most important part today. Team GRC store. Check this out. Uh, big shout out to everyone that helped in the design. Huge props to Anthony. Uh, distinct part of GRC. Uh, does all the designs. Made uh, the intro, outro for my videos, which I don't use all the time because. They add a little bit of extra work to it. That's okay. But hey, uh, I, I know I'm rambling already. Uh, check this out. Here's the link. www.oao.ca Store Team GRC. And check out the Team GRC gear here. Uh, we got the Team GRC C5 Pro short sleeve jersey. Uh, we got the C3 Basic if you want to save a couple bucks. Uh, some pretty cool t-shirts. Wow, I got to get this stuff. I think I'm just going to add one of each. Well, yeah. I always go pro. You know, I'm full pro over here. Uh, but yeah, these look pretty decent to me. And I think it's a very well-designed jersey. Um, in our Discord, don't forget the Discord, top of the page, YouTube channel. Join the Team GRC Discord. Uh, you'll find in the uh, Team Jersey chat channel, uh, uh, many, many of our members uh, displaying their jerseys. And it looks really good. Sorry, guys, I've been out of touch with a little bit of that stuff. I think we can even get a cycling cap. I want one of those. Yes. Okay, let's do that. Okay, um, what do we got for time here? We've only got two minutes to go. We're just going to jump right into this. Uh, yeah, so that was just a quick little ramble there, folks. Uh, kind of caught me off guard. But check this out. Team GRC, Vuelta Tranquilo, the Haro course, 23.1 kilometers, 237 meters of climbing. And what? 88 people registered? Sunday, still summer, still sweltering summer, uh, say like in Spain, where the Vuelta is happening right now, stage two going off today. Uh, I'm just catching up with all that stuff. Oh, and we're starting right away. So let's get right in there, folks. Uh, yesterday was, again, a crazy day for me. I was up early. I was outside doing everything, cutting the lawn as quick as I could. I've been letting the lawn grow for about four weeks straight because we put so much grass seed down, watering it. I told, uh, I told Joey Jojo, told you I'm going to mention every, every uh, video now, um, that I'm not missing my ride. Guess what? Miss my ride. Dude, we, like it was like from Probably from like 7.30 on, straight till 3 when the first person showed up. It was kind of like a little early afternoon party. No one got crazy. Kind of stressful. But uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of getting caught back up here. Really not in video mode right now, but that's okay. Um, as in my mind and my brain and my mouth not talking at the same time. So let's just uh, see what happens at the start here, folks. So this looks like a nice uh, chill course. This should, should be one for like all out speed on this one. See what we got going on here. Let's let everything settle down. They're off to the races. Everyone's moving out now. It's kind of different watching on this TV. This is actually really good in here now. Uh, I'm not sure how it looks for you guys. Obviously my TV's not going to show it as good as my computer monitor does. So hopefully that translates well to a video. But so here we are, we're riding stage 19 of the 2024 La Vuelta. Uh, just going to jump to the front, watch our friends up here. So this is stage 19 of the 2024 La Vuelta. Um, and stage two is the stage is actually happening IRL in real life. Chad Ritchie there. Great to see Chad back. We just passed him there quickly. It's for the front. Oh, I should have done the map, right? Let's get the map going. This is a little bit different for you. I might sign a little bit uh, extra rambly today or extra off topic only because I'm not used to looking at the TV as my monitor, but we're going to make it happen here. I think the map should load right away. Let's see. Yep, map's loaded. Nothing too exciting to see yet. 
high speed group here folks high speed group so at the front Stu, bike and dog trips g sealing jefferson 95 not sure who that is dan rocky's there again dan rocky started out really really well last week and fell back a little bit uh, on that little bit of a climby one. And actually, sorry, I think Dan Rock, Rocky was at the Muckers race on Thursday. He was. Clyde 235, yes, represent Clyde. Darth Puncher, we've seen that rider before. PFHM. Spin Jedi, always at the front. So let's see how long it takes for this uh, select group of hitters to form. Looks like right now we've got, we've got 10, 13 of them. Smart riding here. So it looks like we got fifth, 19 right at the front. Come on, Ben. Cheering for Ben here. Yep, fingers crossed, Ben. Get back on, dude. Yes, get it. David, 1951. You can just see him going off the right-hand side of the screen right now. Here's Clyde, 235. So there's some riders, you know, let's just call it like it is, folks. Thomas Lynn just hanging on here for dear life. Get up there, Thomas. You can do it. You're right there, dude. You are right there. Come on. Roger. He's there as well. Come on, guys. Roger, uh, Lane Mosier, Alexi. I've seen this guy a lot too. SR71, John Chady. Andre 1966, Nobby Styles. Nobby just a little bit off the back here. So it looks like there's about a group of at least 15 hitters right at the front. We're going to move up a bit more. And then there's just people just like four and five meters back. So this is going to be a time of just like people clawing their way forward, making moves. It's at this point in the race, when you see a gap of eight, nine meters, you're gonna have to smash out seven, eight watts a kilo to jump across. You have to. If you don't, you'll never see them again. And that's what's going on right now. So let's have a little peek. Looks like we got 17 riders at the front. Did Ben get on? Ben did get in. Yep, so here is our select group at the front. 46, 47 meters back, Ulrich Nempaz, Danish rider, always strong. Haven't seen this guy before. You're going to see a lot of multicolored bikes on, the, on today's route. We've got the spectacular, sensational Trek Madone uh, Gen 8 bike, the premier bike to ride right now on Ruby, aero ratings, weight ratings. Uh, I see some riders on Cervelos here. Uh, probably my favorite brand because that's what I ride. And I only have an S3, but it's a pretty uh, tricked out one. Altegra Di2, love it, fast. And I don't even ride it anymore. I just have it. Uh, so, yeah. Um, let's get back to the front again. Yeah, here we go. So I think there's about 17 in that front group. Things are evolving really quick here. So Jefferson 95, this is a new rider. V Cycling 198, I know I've seen this rider before. Got some legends up here. Ben's here. PFHM, another legend rider. Who's this, Supreme? I'm, I'm going to guess that's supposed to be Supreme. Canadian rider, got to be good, right? Shunnick is right there. Darth Puncher. Uh, the Chilean rider. Let's, uh, ooh, let's just slow down for a second, dude. Let's get me on you. Uh... Now this rider here, I know I've spoken to them on YouTube before, and they're riding a lot in America's Got Watts League. Uh, I'm going to start covering those races. Uh, I reached out to Oscar. He sent me a bit of info, which I need to do some reading on, because I want to be up to speed more with the riders, what they're doing. Uh, like I said last week, I don't have a race guide. I don't have like a starters list, so... You know, I always say I wing it. Well, it's even more winging it because I don't have that cheat sheet to work with here. Uh, let's just take a look at the course here. There's a couple of key point, points here. And again, you know, this one today too, I'm not going to say there's any real climbing. It's more just false flatty sections. But those false flatty sections is where the fireworks are going to go off. You know, if you look at the profile on the bottom of the stage here, uh, you can see this section here. There's a bit of a climb here. And this is where those riders at the front... And in fact, in every group, they're all going to test each other out. Put in little moves. You're going to see moves of six, seven, eight watts per kilo to see who falls out the back. Because in this group of 17 at the front, it's going to be slowly whittling down. G. Seelan is just hanging on at the back of this group right now. Oh no, he's moving up. Uh, but I think we've lost two riders already. If I can get Yaya Recky, Paz Jordy, 
extreme lightweight. Yeah, so PAFHM has just fallen out of the back of the front group. So we're down to 15 in the front group. Roger riding strong today. Roger's leading the second group, who's going to probably pick up PFHM. PFHM, uh, ooh, looks like they are not riding anymore. What happened to them? Got a mechanical here for PFHM, sitting on the side of the road, waiting for service, or could be waiting for this group to come up. Look at all the GRC riders here. Thomas Lynn, SR71, Clyde235, Roger Trainer. Let's do it, boys. Let's roll. Um, ooh, the infamous Cal Carlo Calcagni coming up quick here. Uh, not riding the Trek bike. Interesting. So, yeah, we have had a mechanical here. PFHM, not sure what happened. Uh, Jills is here. Jills is, looks like he's in about the third group. Let's have a little peek here. You can probably, eh. There's our first group up there. There should be about 15 riders in there. And then these are the riders that are being slowly shelled out the back. Okay, let's try to catch. Dirk Yeager. I guess how you say them. Nobby Styles. Ghost Pink is back as well. Loving this. We've got some really strong, great groups here. Arluzar. Alex is back. Yes, Alex. I, at this point in the race, uh, three and a half weeks ago, Alex would have been in that first group. Alex went on a much needed, I hope he enjoyed himself, uh, trip back home to Switzerland. Took three weeks off the bike. He's back. Um, I think he's done a little bit of training this week, but I think this is his first full-blown effort. And look, Alex is a smart guy. He's on the right bike today. Great to see Alex back. He's one of the, a mainstay of Team GRC. And just gotten so much stronger this year. I don't know when I first met Alex. I got to say like October, November of last year. Wow, it's like time's flying. Uh, and probably increased his cycling ability by 50%. So that's what's out there, folks. It's all about being consistent. Okay, so uh, here's another new rider, Pablo Velme. Hey, Pablo, get it? You're, you're in a good position right now. Uh, we're going to bounce back here slowly, folks. I think the, th the group at the front here, they're on the climb right now. I want to catch everyone. Van Derger, Austrian rider, Arluzar. Cycling slap shots back too, yes. Back in the mix. We have Brew 7730 here. Uh, who's this? G Globo Snick, another American rider. Okay, Danon. Yes, Danon's back in action. Danon's probably getting ready for inside cycling season. Uh, one more here, N7564. Kobe, let's just pop on this one. Back to Danon. Danon made an awesome website for uh, team the Gem City ICC team. Uh, we ride with them all the time. If Danon's here, Kristen's probably here somewhere. Oh, and here she is. Kristen's just a few riders back. Here's Kristen. And she's riding her own bike because Kristen actually bought, I think, this exact Trek Madone, maybe a different color. So she's sticking with her own bike. Uh, then we've got, uh, just ahead of Kristen, we've got uh, Eat More Cake, Roland, 066, Italian rider, Ernie, 57. And then again, back to Kobe here. Where's Wartall? Wartall must be on vacation too because usually Wartall and Eat More Cake are side by side. We're going to bounce back. Jerry, level 58 rider. Kind of a little bit solo right now. Here's Oscar. Oscar GTZ. Good to see you, Oscar. Oscar Gutierrez. Um, I guess, should I say founder, leader of the America's Got Watts race series, which I'm going to do my very best to get up to speed on and start covering some of those this week. Uh, they do race at some times that I'm not really prepared for, but that's okay. EG2, EGT 1962, we got another Swiss compatriot here. So maybe Alex is getting the word out there. The Swiss are joining us. Uh, Cars Mile Smith. I feel like I should be saying that differently. UK rider. New to us. Uh, Des Dyer. 57, chasing after Cars Mile. Pit stops here. Hey, Penelope. Yep. Smart lady. She's on the right bike. Pit stop here. 34. Pit stop 34. I met, oh, maybe about a month ago now. We did a couple of group rides together. She rode with me in Bashok on one of the group rides. We were trying to piece this together. She just joined our Discord this week. I think she realizes how awesome our Discord is. 
it's so I can see it in her in her comments. Like, oh, I got to keep my position in this. I'm ranked this. She I she placed on a Strava segment somewhere. Don't forget, there's Strava Live segments on Ruby. In fact, there's not one on this course today. But it, I think if you have the summit level of Strava, when you do those segments here in Ruby, they'll be fired to Strava and you'll be ranked. And I could see the competitive nature of uh, pit stop 34 coming through because she wants to protect that position. And I told her, like, this is where the motivation comes from. This is how you do it. See, Klista Karloff, seen this guy around a lot too. I think I just sent him a friend request. Yeah, he did request it. Uh, accept it, I mean. Maddie Dog, we've seen Maddie before too. Hey, Maddie. Level 12, Maddie might be our lowest level rider today. I always like to point that rider out to see how they're improving. Here's Brian, BGM151, uh, Muckers rider. Here's another new rider. I'm going to go down through everyone and then I'm going to scoot back to the front because at that point we should be at the top of the first climb. We cover everyone here at Inside Cycling World. Oh yeah, my name's Colin by the way. Uh, if I signed a little bit, I, I can even hear it in my own voice. It sounds a little bit more bassy today maybe. Just kind of really wiped out. Just... I told you, all that slave labor. Joey Jojo likes to crack the whip on this guy. <laughs> I was going to do something like this yesterday. Just an all-out flat. I was so kind of frustrated from just working outside. And not, and I got more frustrated as I realized I was going to miss my bike ride. And I just wanted to go like chase someone down. So that's happening today. Uh, Mark W770. I wonder what's... I always wonder... What some of these numbers mean. Who knows? It could be his house number for all we know. I guess I'm kind of the same. Here's Ron, our water body. Then we got uh, Mr. Piero. Another Swiss ride. The Swiss love us. They're coming in mass to uh, the Team GRC events. Fantastic. PFHM did disconnect fully. Had a big mechanical. Then we had, it looks like this would have been like a, maybe a guest rider when it says user. I always think it's a guest at some bike shop. Julie Meow, we've seen before. Tuna Tornado, starting late. Very late. Oh, and here's Scrivio. Yes, I haven't seen Scrivio in such a long time. Scrivio, where are you, dude? Get in here. Okay, folks, enough of that. Um, we will be bouncing back. Let's get to the front. Yeah, and no surprise. Here's Shunnick. Kind of wondering to myself, there that long pause when I switched up to the front there. I may not have downloaded this video today. In fact, you know what? I was supposed to do that first thing this morning. I apologize. But it does show how much better my Starlink works in the new studio versus the old man cave. So this is all just on the fly. So I really hope it turns out well. Dan Rocky hanging right at the front. Spin Jetta right there as well. Uh, we got Ben. He's he's really good climber. Paz Jordy. Super lightweight. Let's take a look at Paz Jordy for a second here, folks. Big Brother's always watching. Don't forget that. So, Paz Jordy. Mmm. Mmm. Just delicious here. Uh, Paz Jordy is, according to this, has lost a lot of weight, is under 50 kilograms. So, just... Let's add that one. Uh, level 81, though, with us. You know, whatever, right? Just, it is what it is, folks. We all know. Said before, when it's, you know, it's kind of running. 50 kilograms? Yeah. That's like, you know, just barely, just a little bit over half my body. Guess I'm just full-sized. Uh, Carlo Calcagni, take a look at this. Just flying up. Uh, you know, and, you know, okay, so folks, here's a little bit of background. If you don't know Carlo, uh, he is a very good cyclist. Um... And I've heard from people, and I've heard from people that I trust and respect totally, like Carlo is a very good cyclist, but Carlo is riding on a hand bike, so I don't know how well it translates into Ruby World. I'm just not sure. Carlo is a very respected person, ex-military. Um, you know, I, maybe last week I came off a little bit too hard. I think he was at the, uh, oh, he's at the Muckers race. He just rode away from everyone. And I think right now he could probably ride away to get stay here too. I don't, this is just my opinion, uh, I'm not speaking for anyone, I'll speak for myself, Colin, um, authentic, genuine Colin, 
I don't think the hand bike translates well. It doesn't maybe calibrate the, the power right. There's something a little bit off, it seems. And it, to me, it looks like Carlo is now just going to ride at the front with these because usually he'd be riding away at 6 to 7, 8 watts per kilo. So, who knows? Maybe everything's been corrected on his end. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. And you know what, folks? I am the master of benefit of the doubt. I say this to my wife, Joey Jojo, all the time. When someone says something, what do you think she meant by this? I'm like, well, maybe she just meant that. Like, no big deal. I will give everyone the benefit of the doubt. But with a little bit of investigation, I'll figure things out real quick. So anyways, uh, as I said, I know it's been a long ramble, but we are going to show everyone here. We're not just going to be focused on the very front people. Our front group of hitters now been shredded down to 10. The damage is happening, folks. And look at this. So with that group of Carlo, let's say, well, we're going to sit on Carlo. I'm not, I'm not hating on Carlo here. Um, uh, and wow, I just didn't, uh, I'm sorry, folks. I did not notice this. We only have a group, a front group of five. A front group of five. Shunnick, Spin Jedi, Ben, Dan Rocky, and Paz Jordy. I thought there was 10 here at the front. My apologies, folks. Colin is on a little bit of a different planet today. So, Matt Mode here showed Carlo back here. So, we got it. It looks like there's five chasing in the second group. Fascinating. So, the second group is Jefferson95, a new rider, Darth Puncher, who I've seen before once. I think it was at the Muxeries. The Romaine is coming back with a vengeance. Slop Jong, you're killing it, dude. Uh, Carlo Calcagni is in that group with V cycling. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. So, there's 10 riders up front, busted into two groups. Take a look at the map here. I know we're on this for a long time today. The map's not very pretty, but you can just see the next group coming up here. And who is this? Who is this lone wolf here? It looks like a lone wolf to me. It's G. Seelan. G. Seelan. So the riders you're seeing here now are part of that original group of 17 that just fell out the back. Hopefully they can get back to it. So G. Seelan is totally alone. And then it looks like we've got a group of three which is going to include the Chilean rider here, Barris. I'm not really sure how to say your name. Let me know in the comments, dude. Uh, Lane Mosier, strong rider. Eddie D71, another super strong rider. And Alexi Lutsenko, I think. Fantastic. Peter Buellen, Chad Ritchie. Hey, here's Chad. Uh, if you guys ever want to see a video that I thought was really fun to do, um, last year in February, I was in Vegas for the billionth time it seems like staying at the palms and for some reason i was out doing something i can't remember what it was chad recorded the video for me he made me the world tour feed as i like to call it sent it to me and in vegas i sat in the kitchen and i put the audio on and it turned out really well at least i thought it did uh so thanks again for that chad uh with supreme here peter Bulen. uh we're gonna have a quick look at the front okay folks let's talk about it now I know there's a lot of different angles going on here. We still have five at the front. Dan Rocky, Spin Jedi. And it looks like Dan Rocky's putting in some attack. He's over the top of this tiny bump and putting a 10 meter gap on Spin Jedi, Shunnick. These four should be able to come back. Yeah, they're going to come back. They're all drafting each other now. So we're trying to pick out parts on the race that are important. One's coming up right now. So we're going to stick with these guys. Sorry, folks at the back. Well, guess what? Guess what? I lied. Let's jump back. We, we lost Julie. User's gone. PFHM's gone. Tuna Tornado come, making his way up through the field. I haven't seen Tuna Tornado on Ruby for a while. He's just getting back inside. Picked the wrong bike today. That's okay. So Tuna started very late. Tuna should be way more up here. This is where Tuna would normally be. Not in the very, very front, but like in the, these groups here. Our wider body, Matty Dog, Des Dyer. So, Wartal is nowhere to be seen. I miss Wartal. Heaven eat more cake. It's usually a battle to the death. Uh, yeah, great job here by Penelope. Sorry, I'm going to say Pit Stop 34. I just know Penelope's name. I just did it again. I'm sorry. She underestimates herself, and I don't doubt yourself. Don't ever doubt yourself. So, let's get back to the front. Here we go. Five riders at the front. I expect powers to be going up high. Someone's going to put in a dig here of like probably seven, eight watts per kilo. Just to see. 
Everyone's riding like high fives, low sixes here. Maybe it's not going to go off. Paz Jordy. Paz Jordy pushing to the front because he's so lightweight. If you're under 50 kilograms, these little, these little bumps, this is only 6% gradient at most. That's okay. There goes Dan Rocky over the top. Dan likes to attack right over the top, and this is a smart move. This is something I don't do enough of. Just put in that last kick right at the top to get the acceleration down the hill, and you might just shell someone out the back. Sensational. So that's a key part in the race. So if we go back now to Carlo Calcagni, see, Carlo's already left, and Carlo's chasing this group down. Numbers look pretty good, though, here. So, I'm okay with that. I'm not seeing the crazy numbers I've seen before, so we are going downhill, though. So we are, yeah. Three watts a kilo going downhill, that's a good speed. Uh, so the next group back is going to be on four now, with V-Cycling, 198. Uh, for, and yeah, I should know V-Cycling better. Someone in the, in the Discord is going to rip my head off for this, but that's okay. Uh, been around Ruby a long time, Darth Puncher. Like, I got the Puncher? Yeah, just say Puncher. I keep trying to put, like, some kind of, like... French twist to it. <laughs> uh, oh, and Jefferson 95 just uh, lost contact with that group. Jefferson 95 may be solo for quite a while today now because they've got a big lead on G. Seelan, Alexi, and Lane Mosier here. Let's rock back to the front. Yeah, so sorry folks, again, we're streaming this baby. Now, coming, we're just finishing the downhill here. I love the, I love the environment here too. Very dry, lots of stuff growing in the fields. I, I would say this is only a sem. I don't really know where we are in Spain right now. I didn't do my research. Uh, but semi-arid. Like I'm looking at the fields here. You can see how dry they are. Very sandy. Uh, this reminds me a lot of the interior of British Columbia and Canada. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Canada also has its wine growing region. Actually, it has a couple. Uh, let's not forget Ontario, but I think the premier, I think, I, I'm just going to say it, I think the Okanagan wines are more, the grapes there are more, you know, highly rated than maybe Ontario, maybe they have better weather for it in the growing conditions. It's very similar to this. Uh, it's a bit more mountainous there, along the Okanagan, there's a big lake there. Don't forget there, the Ogopogo is there as well, look that up, Lake Monster, been cited several times. Over the years, Nessie's kin. Uh, yeah, so that's what the Okanagan's like. It's it's a com the valley's really skinny compared to this is more wide open. But just the general feel of it, like maybe this is like Kamloops in interior BC, very hot all the time. Uh, yeah, they do get snow in the wintertime, but it's not cold, cold like Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba. If you want to be cold in the wintertime, just go live in Manitoba. Like, it's just cold all the time. They get zero Chinooks. What's a Chinook? Thank you for asking. A Chinook would be something like, hey, check this out, like a Scirocco in uh, Spain. It's a warming wind. Uh, and if you look online, you'll find tons of these warming winds. Like, uh, comes to mind, the Santa Anas uh, in California. Uh, the Mistral. I think that's Northern Africa somewhere. So, so you can see what's going on here, like Carlo Calcagni, back to the front, now pulling away, has just ridden his way right up through the field, and just, so there we go. Uh, again, hand bike. So it's, I know these riders, I know all these riders, I know Spin Jedi, Paul, uh, I know Shunnik very well, Ben, great dude, chats with me in YouTube. Uh, Dan, uh, who's left here? Paz Jordy, I don't know. Well, I know Paz Jordy as very, 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 very lightweight climber, uh, but don't know them, French rider. Um, so yeah, so Carlo Calcagni, I think the first time I saw him on screen was way back in 20th, has now just ridden his way up through the field against these absolutely phenomenal hitters. So I got to call that into question, you know, like I said, the master of the benefit of doubt, but that's falling apart right now. Um, I just don't see it. Sorry, folks. Don't see it. Back it up here. Okay, so if you look here at the bottom of the screen, check this out. Bottom of the screen, split point. That's that black dot. 
This is a, a critical point in the race here right now. So we're going to go back to the front again. And you know, here's the split coming up. It's going to steepen up a little bit here. We're right at 4.1%. Watts are going off now. Shunnick pushed almost 7 watts per kilo there. He's trying to throw dudes out the back. Ben is hanging right with him. I think Ben's more of a climber. Uh, Shunnick's got a good sprint. Would I say Shunnick's a sprinter? I don't know if I'd call him a sprinter, but he's a super strong all-rounder. Um, I definitely wouldn't want to sprint against him. He's lighter weight than me and puts out about the same power. Uh, in a sprint, um, let's just... Let's back that up for a second. I don't put out anywhere near Shunnick's power, but in a short sprint, I think we're, we put out about the same power. But he weighs a lot less than I do, so he's faster than me. Uh, let's just get that really clear, folks. Uh, Dan Rocky here. So, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Carlo Cagney's back in the group. Almost seems like he's playing games with these four because he was pulling away effortlessly. And now he's back in the group. Almost like he eased off is what I saw there. So is that's what's happening. Yeah, let's take a look at this. So we get Dan Rocky, Paz Jordy, Carlo Calcagni. Just off the left of the screen here. That's what they were disappearing. Remember what I told you guys earlier? Uh, the way Ruby works. You can see it here. A rider's ghosting in and out. So the way the algorithm, the software works, the way they've got it coded is that when someone, and I, I'm just making this theory up, this is my hypothesis anyways, uh, when a rider gets too far to the center line, they just ghost them out because these are filmed, they don't know how the riders are going to interact on that race course with the filming of the video, they don't want riders riding directly at the cars, that would just seem kind of weird, right? So you can see them kind of like materializing on the left-hand side. Spin Jedi is there, but they're kind of coming in and out right now. Actually, it looks quite weird on this big screen because it's lower resolution than the computer monitor. Okay, so we're sticking with these guys. Um, I do see maybe an interesting group to check out here. We're going to jump back a little bit. Alexi? Yep, here's the streaming happening. Sorry, folks. Uh, Alexi here pushing hard with Lane Mosier. Yeah, they're like both over 5 watts a kilo. G ceiling hanging on for dear life. Ch and then we've got our Chilean friend coming up. So they're on, they're starting the bump too. Yeah, this guy's strong here. Almost 8 watts. Yeah, so there was that streaming problem. So right at the split point, critical point in the race, there's going to be a lot of attacks going off. So the Chilean rider dropped, I was watching there, 8.8 .8 watts per kilo and got a bit of a bump, but here comes Chad Ritchie. Over his shoulder right now on the left-hand side, folks. Coming through. Followed by uh, Antoine Armand and Supreme. Eddie DN71. Bouncing back another 100 meters. We're going to see more attacks. We've got Peter Buellen going off here. Chasing. Thomas Lynn. Yeah, yeah, Recky. Bro. Here he comes. Polish Schreider. Uh, we're heading back to the front, folks. This is going to be hard for me to do here. Uh... Just saw the remain for a second there. So back to the front. So, you know, even though it's, I keep saying sorry about the streaming, but it's streaming really well down here. I love it. We're only uh, 1.4 kilometers out from the finish. Hitter group here. What do we got? We got Carl Cagney. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. This is the very finish. Carl Cagney coming in, racing against Shunnick. I don't know what I did wrong there, folks. Uh, I was on the wrong group. Here comes Dan Rocky coming in. Ben following right away. Yeah, I was asleep at the wheel there for a second. Spin Jedi just came in as well. Okay, I was actually following on group. Okay, that's not my internet. That's not my Starlink. That's me looking at a different screen than what I'm used to looking at. <laughs> so, yeah. So these riders are coming in now. We're under a kilometer to go. We got the Romain. I think Romain here is on the Domani. Uh, that's what I'm seeing here. Doesn't look to be the same bike as the other two riders. So the Romain. We need to get you on the uh, the Gen 8 bike. Is it Gen 8? Gen 9? Gen 8? I think it's Gen 8. Darth Puncher going off here. Oh, just over a kilometer, half a kilometer from the finish. We've got these three riders going in. It's going to be a nice sprint finish here. So, I did see Carl, Carl Kekagny there. He was pushing like 12, 13 watts per kilo. That's a legitimate finish. I'm okay with that. Uh, there was just some other weird stuff going on at one. 
Uh, yeah, we got riders here pushing the remain pushing 11 watts per kilo now, just lighting the afterburners up, putting a 10 meter gap in between him and Darth Puncher right now. Can he hold this? 200 meters to go, Darth Puncher. I think he's falling back at this point. Great attack by the Romain. He is back in action. I love it. He's pushing strong again. Still 8, 9 watts per kilo. You're not coming back, dude. The Romain wants that 7th place, 8th place for him. Ninth place for V-Cycling. So 8th went to Darth Puncher there. Uh, ninth place is going to V-Cycling. Okay, sorry about that. Bouncing back. Jefferson coming in now. Jefferson 95. Awesome job, dude. Don't know who you are, but great job. And we're going to move back to G ceiling. I've actually kind of got a weird setup here. I'm sitting in my super nice chair riders, uh, but I've got this high table. It's actually my old uh, desk I used. It's like a computer desk that you can raise up really high. It's where I put my monitors on. I got two of them now and I kind of have the mouse up there. So I'm, I'm kind of reaching up in the air right now. It's very weird. So I'm kind of a little bit clunky today. This we'll call this the clunky video. So G is going to be coming in for 11th. And I might be a little bit too far from the PC at the moment. I've lost my mouse. Yep, coming in now. Oh, two more riders coming in right behind Lane Mosier. Okay, I'm sitting forward now. Sorry about this. We've got a great group coming in here. Supreme, Chad Ritchie, Eddie DN71, Antoine. So we've got a group of four coming in now. Let's stay on these riders hard here. Come on! Like that guy from Yumbo Visma always says, come on! When he talks to Jonas. Yep, lighting it up. Just saw bursts of 10, 11 watts per kilo. Supreme is off the handle here now. Antoine responding. Chad Ritchie coming in right behind them. Eddie DN71 trying to come over Chad at the last second there. Don't think he got him. Nope, he didn't. Uh, let's get on some more. Here's our Chilean friend finishing up. Great job. I forget your name, but... This moment, uh, I know we've discussed on YouTube before, Peter Bjorn coming in here. I didn't, didn't follow this rider a lot today, but excellent job in 19th place. Yaya Recky screaming and fast here, over 10 watts a kilo uh, to hold 20th position over Ulrich Nemo. Nempo. Nempaz, how about that? Just making up names as I go here. Thomas Lynn flying in now as well, holding 22nd place. Team GRC jersey. Don't forget, you can check out that website. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the comments if you're interested in riding one, uh, wearing one in real life. And I've seen them in real life. Roger wore one at an event he went to. Um, I forget which event it was. Some kind of, you know, Roger does a ton of outdoor events. And uh, Roger's standing there with a bunch of other folks. Ladies, men, they're all decked out in their cycling gear. They all look good. Roger looked the best. 100%. Uh, he really stood out well. And check this out. Here's Alex after more than three weeks off the bike, hanging with these riders, Ghost Pink, Dirk Yeager, and Stu from, uh, from Bike and Dog Trips. Uh, Stu's lighting it up now. Stu's gone. Stu's dropped 12 watts a kilo there. Hanging still. Look at him. Switching gears there. Getting back up to 11 watts a kilo. Puts a 20 meter gap into the other riders. Alex is the strongest out of the three at this point. Yeah. Alex's legs and lungs haven't forgotten riding on Ruby that much. He's pushing 9 watts a kilo at this point. Ghost Pick is going to come in behind Alex. Dirk Jaeger just said, yep, yeah, you guys can go for it. Oh, and here's John. SR71. John was out on the track last weekend in his Mustang. I'm not sure what year his Mustang is, but from the looks of it, it's probably like an 89, maybe an 88, something like that. Hope he had fun. I didn't see any pictures. I just saw his car ready to go, but... Maybe I missed all that stuff in the Discord. How'd it go, John? Clyde's coming in next. 28th place. We're going to bounce back. We've got uh, Andre here. Andre 1966 is just holding off Roger, uh, who in turn is being chased by David 1951. So hang with Roger for a bit. So yeah, Roger was wearing the in-life version of this jersey you're seeing on screen here right now. And it looks spectacular. And I know there's a lot of other riders in the Discord that are wearing them now too. So I'm going to have to get my butt in action and get one ordered up. Get decked out. 
Roger finishing nice here. Andre finishing just ahead. David coming in next. David rides a lot. I'd love to know more about David. I don't really know him. Uh, every Muckers race, every GRC race, I see David 1951. So I'm not sure if he's... Yeah, just tell me a story, David. Let me know about you. Here's a... I might have called this rider the wrong name. I think I called him Lareo, but it's Ira. I, Arroyo. 32nd place. Ray Vane coming in right behind him. Wow, here's a name I never even saw today. Howdy, 1965. Another Swiss rider. Like, what is going on today? The Swiss are coming out in force. That That's going to be called the Alex effect. Here comes Jill's coming in. The G and GRC. Riding beside R. Luzar. Jill's finishing nice here. Five watts a kilo plus. Almost six. Nice little duel to the finish there between the two. Bouncing back. Nobby Styles. Uh, Nobby, this guy rides tons of stuff outside too. Uh, next doing the Merida X, which I believe is a week away. Nobby, let me know. Uh, yeah, because I think last weekend he got his entry and apparently Rob, uh, Nobby's only 300, mile, 300 meters to the finish. Nobby is actually Andrew Styles. And I did say, hey Nobby, I saw Tracy Wyatt riding a while back. Uh, so she must be back on the bike too. I don't know, it might have been in a group ride, I think, uh, but I saw her name. So maybe you guys were not one together and I was just kind of messing around, following people. Roland, 66. Yeah, we did see this rider. Here's Kraken. Uh, Kraken, yeah, I think in the Discord this morning, I saw Kraken rock in the jersey as well, look super sharp. Uh, so back to Nobby, Andrew Styles. He will be riding the Merida X, which is a three day, 21 stage mountain bike, uh, death march. Uh, I don't know what to really call it, but it looks like such a fun event. It looks like a crash fest, super technical trails. Uh, and apparently they only let 80 riders in per year. Nobby got in this year. He's pretty pumped about it. Uh, so they must do, I guess they do, let's just say seven stages per day and they do stages at night. We have to have full lighting and it looks super technical. I got to guess it's somewhere in Southwest UK. Like probably, it's probably down in Wales. I'm guessing I could be totally wrong. Oops. Sorry, riders. Let's bounce back. Ooh, we're going to miss people. Cycling slap shot. Where are you? Okay. There's Ernie coming in. Uh, this you G Globo Snick. That's a really hard name to say. Finishing nicely though. Five Watts a kilo. Staying away from Albert Zweinstein. Zweinstein. Thomas, 1976, yep. Yeah, nice jersey, dude. You're killing it. Don't forget, Oweyo. O-W-A-Y-O. -O. I'm going to put a link at the bottom. So if you really like that jersey, uh, well, first off, get into the Discord. Join the Team GRC Discord. Romla. Okay, here's a check rider I haven't seen. Hey, here comes Kristen. Coming up to the finish. Kristen's racy. Drop some watts, Kristen. Let's go. Come on. Come on! Team Yum uh, Yumbo Visma style. Yep, Kristen's winding it up now. Little quick four and a half watts. Oh, Ramla's reacting though. Oh, Ramla just drops it. Kristen's counterattacking though. 5.6 watts per kilo here. Just running out of race to him. Kristen hit. Okay, I saw it, folks. Kristen was doing 7.2 watts per kilo there. Wow, that's really good. Uh, Brew 7730s finishing. Okay, so we got a little bit of uh, Starlink issues here now. Here we go. Uh, we're watching Eat More Cake because Eat More Cake rides with us all the time. So they're going to get the spotlight here. Yeah, Kristen looking strong there. 7.2 watts a kilo. Like, I, I think some people kind of underestimate how good of a cyclist they can be. And I think everyone can be a good cyclist. It's just consistency. Ride, 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 ride. Those days you don't ride, you're losing. And other people are gaining. Uh, and so that's what I was telling myself yesterday. But I was absolutely just go, 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 go. I had zero time to get on the bike. Then, you know, well, why didn't you ride later? Well, because I have to be Mr. Entertainer, Mr. The Emerson Charisma, the Emerson Charm I have to pretend that I have. I have to turn it on for all the guests. Um, entertain people. You know, cook food. Uh, yeah, Mr. Mom, I guess. Brian's coming in as well here. 
uh, 51st place. What a strong turnout today, folks. It is going to be lit this year on Ruby. Ruby Racing is going to be the place to be. You want to ride real-world courses with real-world video with some really great cyclists. Uh, it's probably here. And by probably, I mean absolutely here. There's other places to race, but it's cartoony. Uh, you know, and you know, I'm just going to say all the platforms have their pluses and minuses, but this is what does it for me. Real world courses. Uh, and this year, and I'm not going to say just this year, Ruby's got really strong collaboration with La Vuelta and they always have the whole time I've been riding on Ruby. And it seems like it just gets better and better every year. Uh, they, I think it was last year they had these really cool videos. Uh, Carmile Smith coming in, Oscar GTZ, let's hang out with Oscar for a bit. Once we get there, we can see Carmile's just riding off in the distance. Here's Oscar with Dane on. Uh, yeah, everyone talked about this last year. It must have been a, a, a prologue or TT event at La Vuelta. Because uh, I remember it being in Spain somewhere. I forget which town it was. And it was a very short event. But when they filmed it you were like being filmed with the police escort. So like the police motorbikes were with you. It was so immersive. Look at Danon just freaking lights it up. Over seven watts a kilo. Danon just flying to the finish here. Putting in a nice finish. Danon's been riding his bike a lot outside this year, I think. Him and Kristen, getting it. Danon's now gasping. He just blew out a lung. He's like, whoo, yeah, I did it. I'm done. Shutting her down for the day. Now I'm going to go watch La Vuelta. Check this out. Great job. Uh, where is she? Here's Pit Stop 34. Finishing great with Ciclista Carlo. Yeah, great job. And she made it on time today because, uh, yeah, the story is that I think she worked till about 15 minutes before this event. So, working on a Sunday... Here's Jerry. I, I haven't seen Jerry yet today. It, again, I say the exact thing every week. <laughs> How do I miss some of these riders in all the action? It just happens. So we're going to hang out here all the way today, folks. Because, you know, we like to do long form here. Uh, if you don't like long form, that's okay. You can watch the whole thing. Or you can just fast forward to the end. You can find yourself. Uh, but please make sure you subscribe. You like the videos, throw some comments at me, throw some comments on the Facebook page too. Uh, we're just trying to spread the word. We're trying to grow. The channel's still growing, folks. Still growing. My numbers are creeping up all the time. Sometimes it creeps up and then it drops a couple, then it creeps up some more. Uh, we are getting there and it's only going to get better from here. Just think about how exciting racing is going to be this season. With the numbers we're getting now, this thing is going to be gigantic over the winter. Uh, as we're hovering here on Jerry, let's let Jerry do his thing. We're going to watch Dez. Dez rides with us all the time. Active in the uh, Discord with us. Uh, and you know, one of my favorite parts, riders, is I love getting into the Discord voice chat channel after we do these events. I love talking with everyone. So I do that. So as soon as I'm done here, uh, I usually put it on my Xbox. Um, I'll, I'll try it on the computer too. Actually, I don't have Discord on this PC yet. I didn't even put it on. Uh, maybe I'll use my phone. I love chatting with everyone. I love getting to know everyone. Um, why they're doing this. How they do it. Their struggles. Things that get in the way of cycling. Uh, where they're at in cycling. You know, the more you ride, the stronger you get. Oh, and I do want to say as we're hovering on Des here. Shout out to Bashok. Bashak has traveled back to Istanbul and Turkey to visit his family. I think he's gone three weeks. You kind of need three weeks for a trip like that. So that poor guy, he's going to be riding every red knob spinny bike out there in every hotel he stays at. Anything to keep his legs moving. Because he knows, he likes to torment me, how much condition I lost when I went to the dentist. And you know what's funny? That dentist was at my house last night. And we talk about it. Uh, in fact, I think I even brought it up last night that there's a video, when I first got my implant done on my teeth, there's a video where it was like a protective cap. It's a metal cap that gets screwed in. 
it fell out in the video. Uh, it wasn't the implant. I might have called it my implant at the time. It was part of the implant as it was getting ready to heal. Uh, and you can actually hear it go ting as it falls out. And then there's a little bit of shock in my voice. And I was telling him, I go, guys, that's in one of my videos. That's how live and how much we just do things by the seat of our pants here. Uh, authentic, genuine, what I say, I mean, uh, yeah, love it. Love watching people ride. I love watching people. I like motivating people. I like people who kind of underestimate themselves and they don't really know what their true potential is. Uh, the new one in our fold is Pit Stop 34. Just keep riding, keep riding, keep riding, keep riding. You're probably riding more than I am right now. Um, but you're only going to improve. And I think he did a really good job here today at the race. So awesome. So I think Pit Stop 34 finished work and she had like not even 15 minutes to get all the way home and get in her gear and race. And she did it. And I think this might have been her first actual official race. So Pit Stop 34, let us know. I can't wait to talk to you in the Discord how it went down. Okay, so we're going to stick with Des here to the finish. Des, level 85 rider. Uh, did we lose Maddie Dog? Oh, Maddie Dog's probably just coasting here, I would imagine. Yeah, Maddie Dog's just looks like he's coasting downhill here, catching a breather. Yeah, smart move. So Maddie Dog is gets the award or the, the the special spotlight for the lowest level rider that's with us today. No disrespect, that doesn't mean. Matty Dog's not a seasoned cyclist. He's just the lowest actual level today. He's a level 12. If everyone understands. We do this every ride. Riding with Tuna or Tornado, you've got, like, couldn't ask for a better rider to hang out with. Tuna will give you uh, some assistance here to the finish. So Tuna, yeah, like I said earlier, is probably just first race back. Some of his first review rides back. So, yeah, Scrivio was here. Always like seeing Scrivio, like his name. Julie Meow was here. I don't know. Well, obviously, user, I don't know. PFHM was a new one. This rider, I didn't even mention. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know how you say it. It's Gale, but it looks Gal or something. 64990. What does that mean? Is that like an area code? Postal code? Van Dager, we lost earlier on. Uh, our wider body. Where is our wider body? Uh, Ron taking it pretty relaxed here today, I think. Maybe on a bit of a recovery ride. Smart dude, though. Uh, rocking this nice bike. This is the bike you want, folks. Select your bikes carefully for every ride you do on Ruby. Um, and I think I mentioned it to... Uh, hmm, I did it in a comment to someone. Oh, it was to uh, Pit Stop. You got to go on and check out Rama's Ruby Analyzer. Rama's a cyclist. And actually, who took a little break from cycling, but has been showing up once in a while. Probably getting that competitive urge again. Uh, and Rama has spent so much time and effort creating the Ruby Analyzer. So what you do on there is you, you can select the route that you're going to ride. You put your FTP in. So, you know, roughly know your FTP, whatever it is. Um, what's my FTP? Uh... Basically, you know, what are you averaging, say, for like half an hour? That's your FTP, roughly. You don't have to do an FTP test to know your FTP. You've done so many rides. And I don't know how many it is. Here's a Tuna Tornado just finishing up. Matty Dog's only 15 meters back. Matty's putting in a little bit of a kick here. Four and a half watts per kilo. Nice job, Matty. Coming right back. I guess he wants to finish ahead. Oh, then he lets off. Classy move. I like this. Classy move. Nice one. Uh, and when I say that, I'm, I mean that, uh, just doing a little dig at the end. Cause I find myself in that position too, where I'm riding with someone and we've ridden together for the whole event. We've drafted each other. Maybe the other guys help me more and you want to do a little sprint. Uh, but you don't want to look like you're racing each other. So Matty was pretty cool there that when he got ahead of Tuna Tornado, he just shut her down. You know, because sometimes it's like, oh, I don't want to make it seem like I'm gonna, I want to race the guy when he pulled me all the way or whatever they did together. I don't know really. Um, so you just shut her down and just coast beside each other. Uh, yeah, I used to do that all the time. So what was I talking about there? Uh, I lost track. 
Uh, yeah, Rama. Rama, 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 Rama. Ruby Analyzer. You put the route in, so there's a search, little search uh, eyeglass, you know, magnifying glass, whatever you want to call it. Put the route in, and it's smart. It'll find it really quick for you. So you just type in a few letters and pick the right one. You got your FTP in there. Just plug that in. And there is a section down below where you can say how fast you're going to ride it at. Yeah. So like, let's say your FTP is 200 watts. Put that in, but you're only going to ride it at 150. You know, you don't need, you, I guess you could do that, but you don't need to. It's going to just list the bikes. Let's say you rode at that FTP. So obviously on a course like today, if you were riding solo, remember no time trial bikes are allowed in this one, you probably want the time trial bike for a course like this. Uh, although that Trek that, our, that Ron's riding here would be nice for this course too. It's just hilly enough that it might be very comparable to a TT bike because the TT bike is going to have a huge uh, weight disadvantage compared to this Trek. I think this Trek is 7 kilos. And some of the heavy time trial bikes are like nine kilos plus. So I think the lightest time trial bike is probably the Trek uh, Speed Concept. Hey, Trek's making some light bikes, I guess. Shout out Trek. Uh, so yeah, folks, here we are. Ron's going to be finishing it up. He's got uh, 4.8 kilometers to go, folks. What I'm going to do is I would hang out here to the end. We don't have any riders behind Ron at this point. I want to jump into the live voice channel now with all of our Team GRC Discord members, have a fun chat with them. So if you want to chat with people after the event, it's, that's where you do it. You're going to find that person that you were riding alongside with, that you caught up with, that dropped you, but then you made a counterattack and you caught them. And it's all friendly, fun, banter. Uh, and I get to see things that they haven't seen yet. So, join the Discord channel, Team GRC. You'll find the link at the top of this page on the YouTube channel. Just look under the links. Go under the About Me blurb. Don't even look at that. Go down to the bottom. You'll find the link to the Discord. Jump in it. You can just text chat if you want, or you can get right into the voice channel. Everyone's welcome. Anyway, writers, thanks for watching. I know today's video was kind of goofy. I was kind of all over the place. Uh... But it's, it is what it is. We're streaming. I got a different setup today. There it is. So let's let's get back to it. Uh, see you guys, riders, real soon. Thanks a lot.